Yo, hey, what is up, my beautiful people? So you guys know that I like to talk about Japan and how Japan likes to embrace the cute culture. Now, Japan and Pokemon have been doing something together throughout the country of Japan that started back in 2018. And it's something I wanted to share with you guys and kind of, you know, it's just kind of like an FYI. So anyway, uh, pretty much what they've been doing is throughout the country of Japan, Pokemon has been um, getting these manholes. Now, what manholes are, they're pretty much, um, you know, when you look at the on the street, there are like these round, brown, things that like lead to the sewers you know people open it up people like maintenance workers they go down there and like you know they fix the sewer system or whatever those are called manholes you know it's just a sewer thing so anyway pokemon has been getting some random you know manholes and painting them making their own art pokemon art design and putting them in certain places in certain cities throughout japan now it's not like every single manhole in japan has a pokemon design no you have to go look for them and when you find one you know you could, like take a picture of it and you can also buy like these trinkets souvenirs like the manhole design cover like on your coffee mug it's kind of hard to explain but pretty much they are tourist attractions and they are throughout japan random spots you go there and you can also buy like like depending on the design you get like your own personal like keychain um like a stamp a coffee mug you know just stuff like that now pokemon they call these the pokey lids that's what they are officially called pokey lids now what's so special about these pokey lids or pokemon manholes is that every single manhole has a unique design depending on the region all right that's what's special about it and that's what gets people's attention is that they are all unique and they are all special in their own way for example we got a city like yokohama now yokohama is near tokyo it's kind of like by the beach and the manhole that you could find in the city of yokohama is a manhole that features like a picture of two pikachus and they are chilling on the beach with like a wingo flying over the beach you know you have like the water the cityscape and you know on the manhole it has the words Yokohama because you know that's what the city is that's the city you're in and the manhole is designed specifically for that city which is a beach city so when you look at the manhole it's Pikachu chilling on the beach all right that's just one example now another example is an example that I guess relates to me specifically um, when I went to go live in Japan I lived in Hokkaido and Hokkaido is known for like the snow and you know like being very like long winters and heavy snowfall so Hokkaido is kind of like the northern winter region of Japan now, if you get Hokkaido as an island, the northernmost part of Hokkaido is obviously the place in Hokkaido that has the most snow. It is the most cold and, you know, it's obviously like, I guess, the winter part of the winter island. It's, it's kind of weird to say. So anyway, there is a city in the northernmost part of Hokkaido and it is called Monbetsu. I've never been there, but I've heard about it. So in Monbetsu, there is a Pokemon manhole, a Pokelid. And what do you think the design is about? Well, the Monbetsu manhole, if you can find it, it features... Alolan Vulpix and a bunch of Spio. Spio? Spio. Well, the Spio Pokemon. And they are all chilling in a bunch of like little icebergs, you know, in the winter snow. And that relates to the city of Monbetsu, which is a winter city in the winter island of Hokkaido. Now, those are just some examples of the manholes and how they each relate to each city. And they are all unique and pretty much they are tourist attractions that you want to go look for. And when you find it, there are going to be, you know, kind of like a little store there. I guess like in the area that sells like souvenirs years because you found it it's just a tourist thing but it is a really awesome tourist thing to see pokemon and the country of japan coming together to make something like that you know now there is a website and i don't know what the website is called right now it's it's, it's a japanese website but they do have an english version so if you want to look it up now on the website it has like the official pokelid or the pokemon manhole you know like where you can see like the designs of every single pokelid and you can also see where they are located so i don't know what the website is i can't think of it from the top of my head but i will link it in the description and on the website you know you can see like the country of japan um you can click on a region and you can see like which manholes or which pokelids are in that region and which city they are located in and the design of that pokelid so i mean it's just something interesting to do in japan if you're interested you know like if you go to japan and you want to go hunt down one of these manholes or one of these pokelids and get like a souvenir you know i think it's a fun thing to do especially if you're a pokemon fan now one thing that disappointed me is that I found out about these pokey lids they came out in 2018 like they started like designing them in 2018 and right now they're trying they're trying to spread them to like more cities well I was in Japan in um, December 2019 and that's when I found out about these pokey lids because there was an advertisement about like a new pokey lid like in my region you know in my area now the thing is like I was in Hokkaido and I was living in the capital of Hokkaido which is Sapporo so 
I was like, you know what? I want to hunt one of these manholes down, one of these pokey lids. And I want to make like kind of like a vlog of me, like kind of like trying to find this pokey lid. But the thing is, when I clicked on Hokkaido on the website and I was looking for like which ones are around me, I was living in the city of Sapporo, which is the capital of Hokkaido. And Sapporo did not have any pokey lids. There was none in the city, within the city. And I'm like, okay, what the heck, man? Like, come on, we're in the capital of Hokkaido. And you're telling me there's no Pukilis? All right, so which one is the closest? Now, there was some around Sapporo, but they were like a two-hour bus ride. So I would have to take the train, then a bus to go to like a small city to find these Pukilis. But I kind of understand why they did that because the reason they are creating these Pukilis, these manholes, is because they want people to go to cities that are not visited that frequently. So Sapporo, that's where all the tourists go in Hokkaido. You go to Hokkaido, Hokkaido, you're gonna go to Sapporo. You're not gonna go to other regions in Hokkaido because they're not that popular. So they're trying to put these manholes in places that are not that popular because they want tourists to go visit there. So that's why Sapporo didn't get one, which was kind of disappointing for me because that meant I would have to travel like two hours or whatever to go find one. I understand the reason and I didn't get the chance to go because by the time I found out in December, I only had one month left in Sapporo. And I mean, during that month, you know, I have to get all my stuff together to go back to America. So I didn't get the chance to make the trip, even though it was just like, you know, a couple hours away from me i was kind of disappointed but next time i go to japan i'll try and hunt down one of these you know it's just something i want to see in person a lot of people like on twitter they'll come upon one they'll be like what the heck is this a pokemon manhole sewer cover like what the heck like this is so random and they'll take a picture of it and they don't know what it is you know it's just like you just randomly find them you know but it's just an interesting thing to do man if you love pokemon and you want to go find one of these to whatever region you go to in japan you know look on the website and see if you can find one in the region you're visiting or in the region you li you're currently living in and you know go over there get a souvenir take a picture just uh, I guess like a tourist thing to do next time I go to Japan I know for sure I'll try and hunt one down because I just think it's interesting and I love the idea how Japan always embraces the cute culture and is incorporating Pokemon into like the real world you know um, I love seeing that kind of stuff and I want to continue seeing that kind of stuff so yeah it's awesome just something I wanted to share with you guys let me know what your thoughts are and let me know if you have heard about these Pokemon lids all right Drop a comment and I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.